Okay, we're back. And I didn't finish questioning Dr. Pippin Carter. I wanted to ask him about uh, Ramses Najir. Of course I know Ramses. There were several of them, actually. Ramses I was pharaoh during the 19th dynasty from 1307 to 1306 BC, but Ramses II made more of an impact on ancient Egypt. From, 20, from 1290 to 1224 BC, Ramses II undertook a succession of gargantuan construction projects which left his mark on the face of Egypt for thousands of years. Yeah, dude, that's not who we're talking about. His mortuary site at Thebes, the Ramesseum, contains a temple to Amon-Ra, a royal palace, a mortuary temple, and several storerooms. Actually, I was referring to Ramses Najir. Never heard of him. He's right there. Right there. <laughs> okay. Alright, um, who is this lovely lady? You eye this woman with a certain amount of jealousy. Her fashionably high cheekbones, impeccably styled hair, and sultry eyes make you feel mousy and naive in, by comparison. I wonder who this is? Bonjour, Miss Bo. Dr. Carrington told me you were covering this party for the newspaper. I'm Yvette Delacroix. That's right, Miss Delacroix. I'm writing the social news column. Ah, the social news! I was thinking you were here about the burglary. The burglary? Ha ha! Of course not. The newspaper would never assign a female cub porter like myself, myself to such an important story. Ah, uh, you are probably being correct, Miss Paul. Ouch. Okay. So, or hang on, I'm just gonna talk to her again, I think. Miss Poe, I'm not wishing to be the rude person, but I must keep mingling this evening unless you have the specific question. Oh, okay, well, we do. We do have the specific question. Actually, I think we have more than one. Yeah, we have quite a lot, actually. Tell me about the Dr. Archibald Carrington. Dr. Carrington, he is my superior, so I'd rather not be saying the bad things about him. What bad things? He's very strange, <laughs> even for a man. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, but you're trying to trick me, no? It's best that I'm not talking about him. Okay. That's <laughs> good to know. Awesome. That was okay, that was that was pretty funny. Why? Because it was. Okay. Detective Brian O'Reilly. Do you know him? Ah, uh, Monsieur O'Reilly, he is magnifique. He is so intelligent, so confident, so... Oh la la! I assume you've met him before tonight? Oh yes, we are, how do you say, the old friends. And it never hurts to have the highly placed friend on the local police force, no? Yeah, I suppose that's true. What do you think of his burglary investigation? People here, they keep saying Monsieur O'Reilly. His investigation of the dagger is not good, but he tries very hard. I've seen him work. But the dagger thief, he is very good, no? He? You think the burglar was a man? It is only the matter of speaking, Miss Bo. The burglar, she could have been the female as well. <laughs> okay, um... Oh yes, uh... Crowdfather T. Rhubarb, if you, if you remember, we, um... We asked Rube about Yvette and he said, Look, that was a long time ago and I wasn't married and blah blah blah, so... Tell me if you remember him, you bet. <coughs> ah, the Crowdfather. I met him only once on the train. The train was a sleeper car. It was dark and I climbed into his berth by mistake. I'm sure you did, you bet. He will always remember that evening, I am sure. I, unfortunately, will have forgotten it in a few months. She gets around. <coughs> uh, how about low fat? The low fat, I know him. The little, the little laundry I take to the cleaners, low fat does it himself. We have the deal he enjoys, so it costs me nothing. Hmm. How about Ziggy? The annoying little man? I met him at the speakeasy long ago, but he is not my class of person, no? He is the criminal type. Uh oh. Why are you next to him then? Uh, how about me close? 
Dr. Miklos and I, we have much of the fun together. She is very friendly. Many times we have run through the museum chasing the daisy, no? Wait, what? The daisy? You'll find out about uh, Daisy in a bit. Okay. But, yeah, she she's fond of Olympia. They're good friends. So, yeah, she doesn't only like men. She she actually has a female friend. Um, uh, wait, you mean like friend as in... Not friends with benefits, just, just normal friends. Oh, okay. Anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> How about we'll find, like... Monsieur Reinlich, he is the intense fellow, no? Very military, very stiff and straight. I feel very safe around him, but I also feel uncomfortable. He patrols around the museum so much, it is very strange. The dagger was stolen from under his nose, no? Do you suspect him of uh, stealing the dagger? Who knows, I am not the policeman, but he seemed very upset about the burglary. Perhaps too upset, no? Maybe, you bet. Um, let's see, who else do I want to ask about? I want to ask about the con uh, the Countess and the Niger. Monsieur Niger, he is a funny little man. I see him in many strange places in the museum, but he is only the accountant for us, so I don't understand why he is here all the time. Do you think Mr. Najir could have stolen the dagger? Why, because he's e Egyptian? I do not think so, Miss Bo, but I do not know him very well. He is a man, after all, and who knows how they are thinking. And... He is very strange, even, even for, for a, a man. man. <laughs> uh, Countess Swallow Carlton. Ah, uh, the Countess, she is not what she seems, no? What do you mean? Her last husband, he was afraid of her, he told me. Then as I learned more, I was becoming afraid of her too. Why? She seems like a nice old lady. You haven't met her yet, Laura. You can't know that. It is out the act, no? She is the dangerous one. Now I think she is Dr. Carrington's money, since I am seeing them all together so often lately. I don't understand. Why is she so dangerous? Just be trusting me, Miss Bo. Stay away from the Countess. People die when she's around. Oh dear. <laughs> well, that's... Um... Oh, right, I was gonna talk to her about some other stuff. She works at the museum, so let's ask about the Lion Deck Museum. The museum, it is a wonderful place to work. The people, they are so friendly, and I am enjoying my work here. I intend to be the president someday. Indeed. Well, um, I'm sure you could if you talk to the right people, you bet. Um, now this is going to seem a little strange. I'm going to ask her about the water glass we just took, but it's actually kind of important. She gives us a helpful little hint. What are you doing with the water glass? Listening at the doors? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We're actually going to follow her advice. Um, later on in the game. I've tried that in real life. It doesn't work that well. Yeah, I, I tried it too. <laughs> and, yeah, you can't really hear that much, but I don't know, maybe you need a certain glass. And one more question for Yvette. Tell me about the burglary. The burglary. It is terrible to think someone would break into this museum and steal something so valuable. Monsieur Heimlich, he is all broken up about it, although he doesn't show it. How did Dr. Carrington react to the burglary? Dr. Carrington, he is the very, di uh, the very dignified man. There is not much you can learn from his face. He seems to have taken the burglary very well, although he was was angry with Wolf about the poor security. Do you have any idea who might have stolen the dagger? There are many suspicious people here tonight who could have done it. The Countess, for example, or the little man Ziggy. But I have not the proof, you understand? Alright, um, looks like we're out of time for this video too. Just talking to you a bit, so I'm gonna pause the video here and continue next time. Thanks everyone.